What's up Wolf fans, Ian Higton from Eurogamer here with a sort of let's play of Yoshi's Woolly World which I got hands on with at a recent Nintendo event. It was a post E3 Nintendo event so they let people who couldn't go to E3 like me try out what the demo, uh, try out the demos that are on show at E3 this year. Now this let's play is going to show off a couple of levels of Yoshi's Woolly World and uh, I'm going to give you my opinions on how I found it. So first up, let's have a look at the graphics. Graphically, this is one of the best looking games I've seen in a long time. It's just so colorful. Um, unfortunately, the way I've had to film it means you can't see the graphics to their fullest potential, but the the wall just looks so lifelike. It really is uh, a triumph uh, in graphics. Uh, and uh, gameplay wise, if you are familiar with Yoshi's Island, Super Mario World 2 Yoshi's Island, then you will be kind of familiar with how this plays. There's uh, plenty of old school Nintendo style things like hidden uh, hidden rooms and stuff. As you can see here, Yoshi's going to use his tongue to unravel some wool there and reveal a hidden uh, passage. Now... Trailing behind Yoshi are little balls of wool. These balls of wool are fired in exactly the same way as you fired your um, your eggs in uh, Yoshi's Island. You kind of press one button, you wait for the, the arrow or the pointer to point in the right direction, and then you fire it away. You uh, uh, Just a second ago, you would have seen me using those wool balls to create platforms from uh, thin air, out of thin air, well not out of thin air, there was kind of little little places where you fired them out, I don't know. Uh, <laughs> you can use them to uh, create platforms in the appropriate places basically. Uh, you've also got pipes that you can travel down for hidden, uh, hidden areas. These kind of clouds with wings on will present you with different treats. That was a sunny sunflower thing. There's five, I believe there's five of those on each level to pick up. And there's also things called wonder wool. I'm not too sure what the flowers or the wonder wool do. Um, they probably just unlock special things when you get enough of them. But they're all uh, they're all hidden away with um, their hiding place. There's some wonder wool. They're hidden away with some, uh, you know, with, with their hiding places getting more and more uh, tricky. As time goes on. That green crate there, that's a, like a, a wool basket. You can refresh your woolly balls there. And there's a shy guy. I'm going to thwack him with a wool ball and he's gone. If I fire across here and shoot that cloud with wings, it's going to grow a nice little woolly flower. Fire some confetti. Looks like everything's so nice and pretty and colourful. I think Nintendo is one of the only developers at the moment that's actually, you know, bothering to make their games colourful. I think the only kind of colourful game that wasn't Nintendo's that we saw at this year's E3 was um, Sunset Overdrive. Boo! I'm using the uh, original soundtrack, the OST from Yoshi's Island, for this because, of course, I film this in a in an event, so. You can't hear any of the actual soundtrack on the footage I have, just loads of mumbled people shouting. Yoshi controls just like he does in other games. He's got that kind of little kind of boost jump, the little worried like foot paddle he does in the air to get a little bit higher at the, the apex of his jump, or the peak of his jump. There he goes, doing it then. Gets little helicopter feet, so Yoshi's made out of wool as well. And there we go, goal, spelt out of ribbons, lovely stuff. How did I do there? We'll find out in a second. Here's the scoreboard. Course results, smiley flowers. Four smiley flowers out of five. And all three wonder walls. Okay, so this is the next level. Um, this kind of weird fluffy blue wool bird thing is actually doesn't hurt you. Um, what you do though, Considering it doesn't hurt you, Yoshi's pretty evil about it. He murders the parents and steals these little baby chicklets and then throws them so they unravel and uh, die. So you basically murder the mother and then um, murder the kids to reach higher platforms. It's pretty sick. Ban this sick filth. It's still cute though. But yeah. 
he's definitely Yoshi's definitely um, <laughs> picking on some uh, some creatures that can't defend themselves in any ways. The sicko. Uh, you can see these gems. There's kind of rainbow-coloured gems dotted around all the levels as well. I think they act like the Super Mario Brothers coins. Take that, Wooly. I'm stealing your kids! Uh, as you see there, we just picked up... We only just saw a flash of them. Just picked up the little heart things with... Um, little hearts with legs. They add to your health meter... You got quite a few hit points uh, on Yoshi, but it is uh, it is rare to pick up things that will refill your health bar. So you still got to be careful. I died quite a few times playing this. You'll see a death in a bit, which is nothing to do with uh, enemies. It's just me failing to press a jump button properly. But as you make your way up here using the chick trails, I don't know what the hell they are. You can unravel this bit. Get in here to find another secret passage. And this one's going to lead up to a pipe. And a secret room. Pop that along there. Now if I hit that, the, uh, the kind of presents you get, you get these present things. You use your tongue to unravel them and you normally get something good in there. That was some wonder wool in there. So that's one of the three I needed to get. The little chick things you fire, they will pick up the coins or the, the, the gems for you. As well as creating walkways up to where you need to go. The piranha plants, they won't get damaged. They'll be stunned for like a second by these little egg chick things. But to uh, get them, take them out of the picture, you need to shoot them with a ball of wool. Uh, that will tie them up for a short amount of time. Or you could crush them with this thing here. Let's check this out. Blop. Absolutely mullered him. And got through to a little secret -y bit. Okay, so you obviously you've got your checkpoints as well. That refilled my health, I believe. This is some relaxing music, isn't it? Platforming wise, it controls really nicely. I, um, you know, anyone who's familiar with Nintendo games will be familiar with this, the feel of this. Uh, and if you loved Yoshi's Island, then you're gonna, I think you're gonna feel right at home with this. This is, it wasn't actually developed by uh, Nintendo, though. This was developed by another company called Good Feel. I don't know whether they, meant, they were meant to call it Feel Good and it's got the words mixed up, but Good Feel. Is the name of the company that made this game. Here's, here comes my fail. Hey! Who should have pressed a jump? Uh, me, I should have pressed a jump. Never mind. So yeah, that's a, that's a quick look. A, a quick look at how Yoshi's Island plays. Super colourful. Solid platformer. Much collectibles. Um, very... Lovely. It's <laughs> super cute. Uh, it just... It's just full of personality and charm. And it's definitely going to be up there. It's got to be up there for anybody who is a fan of um, just really beautiful platformers. It's great. Um, that's about as much as I can to say. So, uh, yeah, thank you very much, everybody, for watching. Please do like this video if you enjoyed this sneak peek at Yoshi's Island. And uh, please do subscribe to our channel for plenty more early gameplay previews, exclusive developer interviews, interactive live streams, retro content, other crazy stuff. There's loads of stuff on this channel to subscribe to. So, oh, look, I died again. God, I'm rubbish at this game. Thanks for watching, guys. Goodbye.